Hey, guess who's back? It's the Yai Miko who's half stuck in a wall. If you saw the last video, you'll know that we did try to pull Scaramouche and it didn't exactly go well. But I guess it also didn't not go well. Basically, we got up to 74 pity and... Yeah, we got to 74 pity, ran out of primos. So between the last video and this one, I farmed up the event and the primos that Hoyoverse gave us. We now have a thousand to spend. Nothing is guaranteed. Cause we're not gonna be hitting hard pity with these primos and we don't have a guaranteed 50-50. Since my pulls didn't go that well in the last video, I enlisted the help of you guys. Over on the bird app, I asked if anyone had any rituals or locations to pull for Scaramouche at. And also in the comments of the last video, I saw that a lot of people said that apparently Scaramouche does not like Yaimiko. Well, that sucks for him because I do, but maybe we can use that to our advantage. Now, one person over on Twitter told me to climb to the highest branch of a Windrise and then throw a character off of it, and if Scaramouche doesn't like Yaimiko, then yeah, we could just do that. And what they said to do is to switch to Nahida, who they've prepared beforehand. Um, Nahida, say nothing if you are prepared. Okay, cool. Our Nahida is prepared. We came over to the Statue of the Seven and then Wish. And this strategy did not work. I know that this is very random, but just a quick question for you guys. Are you thirsty? And yes, I'm aware there are two meanings to that word, but either one works in this case. And if so, you're in luck because this video is brought to you by Gamersups. Gamersups is a healthy energy drink coming in a huge variety of different flavors. Not to mention there are even caffeine-free versions in case you want the flavor, vitamins, and electrolytes without the caffeine. Did I also mention that they're all zero calories as well? And let me just make it clear, I personally drink this stuff almost every day and in case you were wondering my favorite flavors are blue raz black cherry and strawberry just saying but now gsups offers even more products like their new sus bars which are basically protein bars but they actually taste good and right now they're offering their biggest sale of the year for the holidays as you buy gsups cups merch sus bars flavors or anything from their store you can reach five different tiers and receive the free product shown here if you reach one of the higher tiers you get that item plus all of the ones from the tiers below it. You can use the link down in the description and enter code JAVA at checkout for 10% off all of your purchases as well. So if you want to quench either or both of your thirsts, then this is a really good time to do so with Gamersups. As always, big thanks to Gamersups for being a continual partner of the channel and for just making things that taste really good. Now another person tells me to climb on top of Raiden's statue here in Inazuma. That way if we summon and get a Scaramouche, he will be able to instantly step on her? It's their reasoning, not mine. So here we go. Let's see what we- Oh, I've- Maybe he actually wants to. I didn't know. Or Kaching. That is also a possibility. Apparently Kaching wants to step on Raiden Shogun. Fantastic. Do we get anything from Kaching's acquaint fate? We get a purple. Okay, Catalyst. Anything Catalyst? Pain Slasher. We are on a roll of great wishes here. The odds of us getting a Scaramouche just decreased tremendously. But since we still have a couple primos, I'm gonna burn through all of them. Another person told me to come to the palms of the Venti statue and then use the Animo Boy team, which for us is literally only Hazo. But surely this will work, right? Back to back five stars. We're definitely gonna get him here. Look at that. Look at how gold that is. You see all that gold on that bow? I can't believe we got back-to-back -back golds. The next one is to go sit at Cloud Retainer's table to wish. And of course, I'm bringing our animal character along with Nahida. So we're gonna take a seat here and then wish and see what we get. Another blue. Oh, I like this one. They just wished and they got him to see one in two ten pulls. So just pull and get lucky. Okay, let me let me try that. I'm getting lucky. This is the one. Look at how lucky I am. Oh my gosh, it's insane. We have one more wish at our disposal. And for this one, we have to go over here. I guess we kind of just stare at this rock. And they said that this got them C1 and his weapon. Now they pulled after losing a 50-50 to Gene. So I'm just going to add Gene to the party. Their friend had a Yaimiko out, so we're going to have her on the team. And then they used Kazu, so we'll replace that with Heizo. Then we stare at the wall, and we wish. At least it's a purple. I don't know if that was a guaranteed purple, but it's a bow, so who even cares? I mean, I 
guess at least we have a guaranteed 50-50, but we also don't have primos, so it's kind of useless right now. Hey, Hoyoverse, no more new Catalyst characters for a long time, okay? I need time to save. I forgot that I could get this too. Honestly, it seems like such a waste because I know that we're not going to get him from it. But sure, we'll go ahead and we'll try out another ritual. This one sends us to the Star Snatch Cliff where we just throw a character off. Who's ready for some more disappointment? Goodbye, Yai Miko. Although you're going to live because there's water down here. I don't know if I'm supposed to pull in the air. I'll just... There. As soon as we hit the water. Here comes another blue. Yeah, I love to see it. Since it doesn't look like we're going to be getting Scaramouche on the account, what I want to do is just farm a lot of artifacts. Now, I always say using Fragile Resin on artifact domains isn't the smartest because you should use it on things that are only available on certain days, but I think I might break my own rule here and do some farming in here. This is the domain for the Ocean Hued Clam Set, and I think it's pretty obvious what I want here is the Ocean Hued Clam Set. Now, the team I'm running right now, potentially with the exception of Ning Wang, is a team that I I think we could use pretty well. Of course, I wish I had a Kokomi instead, but we don't, so we have to make do with Barbara. It's very obviously a Hyper Bloom based team, but Barbara kind of dies in a few hits because her artifacts are terrible. We could run someone like Sucrose instead of the Ning Wong, but right now we just need someone who can actually deal better damage. So that is why Ning Wong is on the team. And then we'll also have to farm the new domain that has the, what I'm going to call the Scaramouche artifact set, because that has a really nice set for Hyper Bloom, which we could then put on Yaimiko. But we all know what happens when I try to get a certain artifact set. We usually get the opposite or just defense percent. And there's the opposite. It's honestly not bad as an off piece. If someone needs energy recharge and crit and EM, that's not bad bad. I just wish it wasn't this set. And I don't think I have anyone that I would want to put that piece on because like, sure, we could have ER on her, but she doesn't really need the crit. I suppose we'll just hold on to it. I did consider turning Barbara into a bit of a DPS with crit damage and whatnot, but then she dies a bit too quickly. I think ideally we just want to stack a ton of HP on her and use her that way. That's why Kokomi would be so much better for us right now. Obviously, we tried to get Kokomi in this account. Uh, didn't go well, as you could probably tell since we don't have one. But I think my biggest regret is at that time not just spending a little bit of money to get her on this account because she would have been game changing for us not to mention she is probably not getting a rerun for quite a while now this time let's should get the right set uh, i mean we got one and it sucks. Don't worry though, I know what we can do this time. For you see this time game, all I want is for you to give me whatever artifacts you feel I deserve. It is entirely in your ha I hate you. This is what I deserve? What's funny is when I'm not recording, I usually get about a 50-50 mix of the artifacts. As soon as I'm recording though, I get everything that I don't want. And I would say I'll prove that to you, but I can't because then I'm not recording. Okay, okay, we'll try this. <laughs> <clears throat> that that recording's over. I think it went well. Uh, now I have to go edit the video. No, it's not working. They still know that I'm recording. This I'm unfortunately going to keep because it's crit damage with a crit rate substat. If we ever get a defense scaling catalyst user, then this could be decent. And this just isn't. Both crits are very low rolls and there's no HP. Okay, we have a feather. HP percent? Please. HP percent. I guess I have to keep it. My strategy for this domain has evolved a little bit. I now run straight into the corner so that these things can't move around quite as much. And to an extent, it does work. Makes it a little bit harder to dodge, but as long as we use our heals wisely, we're fine. And look, we beat it in under two minutes. That doesn't sound good, but on this account, trust me, that is. Why does this keep happening? Where are the ocean hued clam pieces? Now, last I checked, this domain had the husk of opulent dreams and ocean hued clam. I mean, maybe they changed it without me knowing. All right, at least we got an ocean hued clam piece, but it's not good. Ideally, what we want is HP, HP healing bonus, though I would be willing to take triple HP. Though at this point, we might have to settle for like defense, elemental mastery defense, and also not the right set. I mean, close enough, right? You know, maybe I should have done the artifact domains first because I would have seen that our luck today is horrendous and I wouldn't have pulled for Scaramouche. Maybe I shouldn't be spending all of my fragile on artifact domains. Like, what? Why? It's the same exact piece. All right, we have one chance again. 
don't like that. What about this? Pyro damage. Very useful. Now my defense scaling pyro catalyst healer can finally have a good piece. In all honesty, there's a part of me that's sad we didn't get Scaramouche, of course. But also, he has a fun playstyle. Though I don't feel like his kit overall would benefit this account that much. If we were gonna run an animal character, I feel Sucrose is just a better option for us. And also, now I don't have to worry about rushing through the Sumeru Archon quest. And of course, that also means that we could focus on the characters we already have a bit more. So yes, it is a bummer I would have liked to have gotten him, especially over a Kaching. But all in all, I'm not that disappointed. Alright game, that's enough messing around. Let's get the Ocean Hued Clam set, please. It's, I, it's always this piece. Electro damage. No, no, no. HP. Stop giving me the more rare ones. What do I want to turn all of these artifacts into at the strong box? I really don't know. You know, maybe Blizzard Strayer for a Cryo Catalyst. Oh, right. They don't exist yet. I feel like I have to put one of those in every single video at this point. Until they finally add one in. Because there's so many instances where I want Cryo on this account. You know, even though this account still struggles a lot and needs so much help, the good thing is at least we can clear domains now. Or most of them, at least. I remember we used to have to go into co-op if we wanted to clear any domain. So I guess that's at least improvement. This is our last condensed resin and I've already run through all of the fragile. Can we get one usable ocean-hued clam piece? That way, maybe I could at least get a two set? Uh, it's not HP, but at the same time, that could just be a good off piece for like any damage dealer. But we all know it's going into defense. So I would say that that was a resounding disappointment. <laughs> this is is the best flower that we got. And I'm sure you guys are looking at this thinking, wow, that is a really good piece. I am so jealous. And to be honest, I can't blame you. It's just cracked. My luck is just insane. Look, more defense. I don't want to level that anymore. But if that wasn't enough, look at this piece. This one has crit rate and HP percent. And to top it off, we're going to probably roll into defense percent. Oh, crit damage high roll of crit damage. Okay, okay. This has potential potential. I kind of want the HP percent. We got the one stat that I don't want. How do you manage to do that? Let's try again, okay? HP percent. Crit, I mean, it, it's fine. Crit rate's fine, but I don't need it. Yeah, none of the others are worth powering up at all. So let's just put a little into this crit damage. What else would you like to roll? Attack percent? Okay, so this was just, this, this is an attack piece. If it can go into crit rate here, that'd be nice. I also should not be powering this up because I don't need it right now. Oh. Okay, I'm done powering it up. Maybe Inazuma in general is just super unlucky today, so let's go to Liyue. Actually, you know what? No. No, I'm gonna go to Sumeru. I know we have the crafting table somewhere here. The reason I never use it is because there's no waypoint right next to it like in most other regions. But hey, we can still get to it. And that dude just spawned out of thin air. What artifact set do we want? You know, I think Bloodstained. Having physical damage on a Catalyst character is super underrated. Could do the Crimson Witch of Flames to have some pieces for Yanfei. Because other than that, I feel like it'd just be Noblesse. And the only character I would really put that on right now is Mona. Or do we try and get more Viridescent? The thing is, we already have completed Viridescent sets, but it doesn't mean that they're good. And then also, if we want to build Hazo at... Oh, it would appear that I might not have all that many pieces. Yeah, maybe we'll do some Viridescent. Because, like, yes, we have pieces, but they kind of suck. I kind of also want to do the Archaic Petra for Ning Wong, but I feel like the Viridescent is better because it works for two characters. However, that domain drops the Maiden Beloved, so that's two sets we could use. Whereas for the Archaic Petra one, we really wouldn't use the other set. Does Sumeru have better luck than Inazuma? Defense percent. I'm going to say no right off the bat. You know, I'm just going to go through, craft up as many as I can, and and then I'll show you what I'm going to power up, if anything. Okay, nothing I'm too excited about. If this piece can roll into Elemental Mastery as the final slot, then it will be good. And <laughs> it's everyone's favorite stat, defense. Had the game knows. Did Christmas come early? So do not touch that slot. 
or yeah, yep, that's fine too. I didn't want that artifact. And you know what's funny about that is right next to it, I have pretty much the same thing. And you could tell I stopped leveling it whenever I got it because it rolled defense. Let's try it though. Let's see what it does. Attack percent. I would prefer the crit. However, it's not defense percent, so we'll continue. All right. Is the artifact going to be making everyone jealous? Probably not, but it is better than the other ones that we have. There is no EM on it, unfortunately, but I don't think we're going to be getting better for a while, and we can test that theory right now. We'll just power this one up to plus four and see what other stat it rolls. Ideally, it would be crit damage, but it's flat attack. This one needs to roll EM or I don't care about it, and it gets... Energy recharge. I might still keep it for now. It's sad to say, but this is probably our best feather. At least if we want to stay on set. It just really sucks. Okay, you know what? It's not that bad. It's just I see that there's a roll into the flat HP and it just bothers me. You know what we might be able to do though? Klee just has a random piece that's pyro damage bonus because it's her off piece and it sucks. It literally looks like I haven't powered it up once. Maybe we have a better piece for her by now. Also, if this can roll a crit damage, that would be ideal. Please, at least give me this. Game, please. Uh, flat HP. Okay, I'm not gonna power that up. So we will not be using Hazo anytime soon. Also, this piece rolled really crappy for Klee. 24% defense, but it's onset with both crits, we kind of need it. After some close examination of the three other pieces with pyro damage, none of them are great, but this one has the most potential. We go to plus four and we hope for crit damage and we get flat attack. Okay, everything into crit rate, everything. I think I'm done with this artifact. No upgrades for anyone today. Now there is something else I kind of want to try on this account that could be fun, but I feel it's something I would want to save for its own dedicated video. So although this is a little short, we might go ahead and wrap this one up here. Then I'm going to have to go do some research to see if I could do the thing that I want to do and if it would turn into a good video. So with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy seeing me suffer as always. I mean, I know that's what you guys like to see. Obviously, feel free to click that little like button, set off some fireworks because apparently it does that now. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.